All right, back down. Just gonna kind of get back to where we left off. Got some of this. Come on, mosquitoes, I'm ready for you. All right, here we go. I'm going to get everything all set up. Here's what we're gonna work on next. We're gonna come back in, we're gonna jump in on this and finish this off, finish the hole. Sand this down, I'm gonna glue in uh, standoffs on the top. I don't think I'm gonna need it on the bottom. It's already standing proud. What happened was this was glued in tight. And so when I, I, when I cut loose, everything relaxed. So it is, it's actually got a nice little arc to it now. So that's, that's gonna be good. This has to be stood off. This has gotta come out, like I said, probably a little over maybe three thirty seconds of an inch to mesh the arc here and then we'll be good to go um, I'm hoping I'm hoping because right right there looks good and that's about three thirty seconds of an inch so we're gonna go for that so I'll stand this off a little bit stand this off a little bit I'm gonna come in uh, I got this, I got I gotta find my piece of spruce spruce is going in here and then a little bit of a filler, another little piece of uh, balsa there, and this part's done. And I just gotta, I gotta figure out how I wanna, how I wanna do this, because it needs to come out. Because this is gonna be standing off now. Um, I can come in with a thicker piece, and I wanna have the balsa come right out even with this, which is gonna be really close. So that's 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 my goal is to bring it out to here and then from here I haven't figured it out yet. I don't know if I want to come out and tail out to here. So that way once I get past here, it can just I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come out, I'll angle it, I'll angle it from here, bring it up, angle it down so it terminates here. And that way, when the covering comes on the side and goes to wrap um, up over the top, because here it's going to come down and lie flat this way. And then from here, it's going to come up and it's going to angle over the top. Yeah, that's what it's going to have to do. This is going to be a weird little section. Um, but that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So, all right, get started.
Good Sunday morning, everyone. It's uh, it, it's almost seven o'clock. Uh, I decided to come down, uh, get a bit, little bit earlier start. Uh, uh, that little last section in the video that ended abruptly, I got I got called away. We had a little networking problem up in the house, um, so I, I I ran away from the plane and from the video. So anyway. Uh, I, I got a lot of I got a lot of little more stuff done on it. Um, I'll bring everything up to date um, a little bit later on in this video. Uh, when I get back from work, I'm gonna take everything outside and battle the mosquitoes. Um, so anyway, uh, just a little quick. Uh, I got I got a couple little freebies yesterday uh, from a good friend of mine. Um, it wasn't Dubro, but it is Dubro product. I got this from Paul Urquhart. Um, it's I was I just I just called up to find out if he had any um, uh, hardware, and he ended up bringing me this, uh, which is uh, it's going to be for the rudder. It's going to be the pull pull system, and that's pretty much how they hook up. Um, I was going to change over. I don't know if I was going to go with Dubro, but I was going to change over to a pull pull and seeing that. Uh, if you brought this out, uh, I'm going to use it, so thanks much. Um, the other thing I got was, uh, and I've got some of these things anyway, but he snuck these in. I didn't see him throw those inside the van. Uh, those are some little uh, large um, control horns, and I, I do have a bunch of those already, but, you know, they're probably going to be used again anyway. The other thing, what I asked him was if he had any aluminum rod, and this is quarter inch. Uh, aluminum rod. I don't know. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot, uh, and I'm going to do a little quick little video, um, or I'll at least piecemeal a video to get it for you real quick. I'm going to cut this down to size. I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, make sure that the drill press is drilling straight down. So I'll come in and I'll just indicate it. Um, and then I'll set everything up. I'm going to drill a hole. I'll thread it down inside for a quarter. Uh, excuse me, for 440. And then I'm over here on the bandsaw. I'm going to try to cut through it and see see if I can turn these into clevises because they're going to be lightweight, and I think it's going to be what I can work. If this doesn't work, I'll run over to the hardware store uh, later on, and I'll get some. Uh, because I thought I still had some, but it's, I'll, I'll look around. I'll get some 3 8 uh, stock. Um, because what I can do is I can still come in. This is where I wish I had a lathe. I'll be able to come in and leave it 3 8 down here, but up at the head where it's going to be, uh, where the clevis part's going to be, where it's going to, I can, I can sand that down and make it thinner, but it'll be wider. So I'm going to see what's going to happen with this. Um, with, with the hopes that it's going to work, so let me get uh, let me get stuff cleaned up, get set up, and uh, bring it back in uh, real quick, just uh, for a little uh, I don't know, probably be a speedy up. So.
here's the the prototype. It's tapped out 440, and all I did was just put it on a bandsaw and just with uh, with decent measurements. There we go. Um, now I was able to get the uh, get the groove cut in it. I haven't cross drilled it yet. I'm not worried about that part yet. Uh, I just wanted to find out once it was on there how well. Let me angle this down. Oh, here comes the skeeters. Let me angle this down. There we go. I just wanted to make sure that this was going to fit nicely on the uh, on the control horns, and it does. It just slides right in place. So uh, I just got to figure out how far I want to set these off. I think it's going to be good. I'm still, because if you guys have been watching this video, you know how my mind works. I'm still, I'm still considering steel. Because um, this thing here is what keeps the plate in the air. So um, I'm kind of, kind of hemming and hawing if I want to try to run steel. I do have a friend, Greg, that uh, <laughs> that can do this. He's got a CNC machine, so if he had some steel, some steel rod, I'm sure I can coerce him into making some. But I haven't got that far yet. I think this is going to work fine. Um, I'm just deciding because I went out and you know, let's go take a little walk outside. You know what? We don't need to take a walk outside. It's right here. Good to stick out. There we go. Okay. Please. Oh, you soldered them in place. Jerk. All right. I'm going to have to unsolder these. I don't even know if that's 440. That looks like 440. Let me unsolder these things. Or I can just unscrew them. And yeah, I can just unscrew them. I'll test it on the opposite side because all I got to do is uh, I've got 440 rod. I can just. Uh, Put in some new pieces anyway. So anyway, this is 440 going in. It's a pretty sloppy 440. This is this is what I'm not 100% on. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it. That little bit of a play. Um, now, in my overly paranoid schizophrenia from time to time what I'll probably do is I'll probably just epoxy these in if, if that, so just so that my mind's at, always at ease um, I gotta figure this one out this is kinda where I think they'd be better going with steel um, this could have been a whole bunch of different things that could have just been the fact that I was having problems with the uh, the 440 um, the little 440 tap um, so, um, you know, the thing is, is that the 440 screw is tighter than this rod. So, because the 440 screw, it's kind of hard to see it, but the 440 screw is tight. So, what I could do. I can get a hold of Gino um, from Trimcraft Aviation. Um, <laughs> I'll see if he's got 440 uh, threaded rod. Um, I just like the tolerance. It's got a, it's got a little bit tighter tolerance than the than the old Sullivan stuff because with what you're going into with Sullivan is you're going into a piece of plastic, so um, the plastic's going to be tight. And it's not threaded. You're just kind of cranking it in there. So, um, anyway, let me go upstairs, go online, and see if I can. Uh, I'll look at uh, uh, Gina's website, Trimcraft Aviation, um, and uh, I'll uh, I'll see if he's got something. I can give him a call. So, anyway, that might be it for the morning, um, and then. Uh, I'll come back downstairs. I did get some more of this stuff over at uh, Home Depot. So that's going to be uh, what I come home to later on. I'm going to go through 
and uh, see if I could finish up the tail of the of the airplane because uh, the fuselage is almost done. I still got to do the doors, but structurally everything on the fuselage, um, I'm hoping is 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 finished. It's like every time I put a deadline when I think that I'm going to be ready to do something, it gets pushed another week back. So anyway, I'll see you this afternoon.